Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, I'm Kat Miller. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how successful business owners multiply their income without doing more. That is the key thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you some ways that you can multiply your income without having to do more. Because here's the thing. A lot of people think that growing your business faster means being way more busy. You have to become way more busy. You need to create way more content. You need to create way more lead magnets. You need to send out more newsletters, do more blogs. You need to start at like 6 a.m. and finish at, I don't know, midnight, right? And a lot of businesses fail because they, they get burned out. They get overwhelmed and they lose momentum because they're not growing, yet they're doing all these things. And it's it's really frustrating. So over the last few years working as a business coach, I've discovered that you need to be super focused and you need to know how to simplify and focus on the right things rather than overcomplicating things and doing more and more and downloading more uh, articles and videos and watching more free webinars and more um, YouTube clips and being stuck in endless research. You can't grow your business sustainably that way. You create resentment and you create burnout and eventually you hit a wall. So we don't up level our business sustainably by addition, by just adding more and more. We up level by multiplying, by multiplication. So I'm going to give you some things here that you can do to multiply your success without adding a whole lot of time. Successful entrepreneurs have discovered they can achieve a whole lot more by doing actually less, but it requires a specific approach to managing your time and to eliminating tasks that don't lead to great results. So we need to be always looking at our business and looking at what needs to be culled, what needs to be improved and what needs to be up leveled. So a lot of business owners are so stuck in the doing doing working in their business rather than working on their business so rising up looking at their business from a, a higher view from the big picture and not getting stuck in the weeds so I call it coming up into the clouds rather than being stuck in the weeds so people for example might think that that in order to double their income they need to double their working hours so if they're already doing seven hours a day they think they need to oh if I want to double my income then am I going to have to do like what 10 hours a day 12 hours a day 14 hours a day or if you want to double the amount of clients you have let's say you've got six clients and you want to have 12 clients you think that you've got to double your effort but that's not how you that's not how you do it if you want to get to let's say consistent ten thousand dollars a month or about a hundred grand a year you don't have to double the amount of posts you do, double the amount of, um, like let's say you're doing two posts a day, you don't have to go to four posts a day. I mean, that's not sustainable because they're probably not going to be good posts anyway. Or people think they might need to add in more platforms. So, okay, I'm already on Facebook. Uh, I'm already on LinkedIn. Maybe I need to add in uh, Instagram, Pinterest, Clubhouse. Maybe I need to be blogging. So they're spreading themselves thin over all these different platforms instead of choosing a few strategies that are working and doubling down on it. Finding out what's working and going deep in that thing. So instead of spreading yourself thin, because all those things require a lot of focus, a lot of time, people get stuck doing research, endless research, uh, dabbling. But in order to scale up, it's about focusing on the most important thing. So if you want to get to consistent 10K months, it's not about adding more and more things. It's about doing the right things properly. It's about leveling up. Otherwise, you hit capacity. So if your business isn't growing at the moment, it's because there's gaps in your skill and knowledge, skill or knowledge. And you might say, I've had people say to me, I know what I should be doing, but I'm just not doing it, or I don't know how to do it. And if that's the case, there's a, there's a gap in your mindset, <laughs> and you need to up-level, the, the area that you need to up-level in is in your mindset, because if we know what we should be doing, but we're not doing it, it means there's something that we don't know, or there's something missing, 
in the way that we're managing our time, which again comes down to skill or knowledge. So there's four stages to up leveling and I call it the chow model, the chow model, chow, 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 Italian. Hi to those of you who are on here. Hey, pop in the comments box. What do you, what do you actually do? I would love to tailor this to suit you. So what do you actually do? This is a chance also for you to share with the world what it is that you do. So some free advertising here. So just pop in the comments box. What do you do? What do you help people with? How do you help people? Pop it in the comments box. Great to have you on here. And I'd also love to connect with you as well and just know um, what kind of business you have. So I can tailor this to you. So there are four stages to up leveling your business and the chow model, the C stands for create. So you create something, you, you create it from scratch. The I is you improve it. So you start something, then you tweak and tweak and tweak and refine it. Let's say you create a webinar. Then you improve that webinar, so you do it again with all your, you get feedback, you give yourself feedback, you watch it back, you write feedback, you up level it, you change some slides, you maybe change the order, you change your intro, like you, you improve it. And you might do that multiple, multiple times. And then when you're happy with it, we go to the A, which is automate it. So then we automate it. So then it might become, let's say, an evergreen webinar. We put it into a funnel. So we might put it into, let's say, click funnels. We've got um, we've got an opt-in page as the landing page. Then we've got the broadcast room where the webinar is playing. Then you've got a button where people go through to a sales page. And so we're automating that whole sequence. And you can still continue to improve it but you don't want to automate something until you've refined it. You, you get it better and better, you test it in the marketplace, you make sure that you that people want it, that people like it, and then once we've automated it, then we can outsource it. So someone can actually come in and you can get someone to, to kind of manage it and run it. So we create, we improve, we automate, then we outsource. And then you could have someone come in and actually launch a like a live, um, a live launch of that same training and where they, they're sending out emails, they run it as a live event, but it's a pre-recorded uh, webinar, for example. That's just an example of how you can up-level to go from creation to improvement to automating it to outsourcing it. You don't want to outsource things until you've improved it, until you've really tweaked the system and you're happy with the system. A lot of people will think, oh, I'll just get someone to help me with my marketing, but they haven't um, had full control of it and understood it and they outsource it to someone like hand over 5k to someone to do their marketing for them and then they've got no control. So it's really important in your business that you maintain control, that you know how to tweak things in your business, that you learn marketing yourself and not just try and pass it on to someone else. So that's just a simple four step model you can use. So you can start thinking about all the areas in your business. If you want to multiply your income, every area in your business needs to be looked at and tweaked. So you've created it, but just because you've created something like a system where you post twice a week or you send an email once a week or you write a blog once a week, it doesn't mean that that's done now. That needs to be up-leveled and up-leveled. You've created it, but you need to improve it. You need to keep adding those tweaks, getting it better and better and better. Some people think that you need to do this one thing in business and everything changes, like the whole game changes by, by adding this one platform, like Clubhouse is the thing or um, Reels are the thing and that's, that's how you grow your business. There's not one thing, it's up leveling and up leveling every area of your business, looking at the, your business as a pipeline and going, where are the leakages? Where, what's being drained out, how can I plug those gaps so we've got a nice consistent flow, a steady stream of consistent clients coming through, being really well nurtured and looked after, get great results, great transformations, refer their friends, become word of mouth, so you're thinking of it as a nice flow. Welcome those of you who are on here. Hey, pop in the comments. What do you actually do? I'd love to know. What do you do? Tell us about you and your business. Just pop in who you help in the comments there. I'd love to see it. All right. So there are four things I recommend that you level up in. So what I've talked about so far is that 
in order to, to multiply your income, it's not about just adding another platform, adding more time, posting more often. It's about up leveling the quality of what you're doing. So let's say you're posting, but your posts aren't really getting engagement. They're not getting people um, to actually book into your calendar, for example, or to click through to your landing page. If that's not happening, we need to up level your content skills. Uh, if you're sending out emails every week but you're not getting people open them, we need to up-level uh, your ability to create great subject lines and create great content that gets click-throughs. So you might have people open the email but they're not actually clicking through to your links. So every single area of your business can be up-leveled. But there are four main things that I recommend you consider when it comes to up-leveling your business. So number one is up-level your strategies. So if you've been using the same strategies for years and you're not growing and you've capped, your business is capped, you know, like Einstein said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different result. So if you've been send, setting, sending out an email to your blog every single week, but you're still not getting clients, then we might need to up-level that strategy. So we either need to improve your writing so that your writing is more engaging, your writing has elements like there's, there's a whole, um, well there's seven elements that I teach, but for example, one of the elements is your ability to build curiosity. So that's a key important ingredient in copywriting. So if you don't have these elements through your copywriting, you're gonna get lower engagement, you're not going to get people opening your emails. You're not going to get people commenting or liking your posts. Um, and ultimately, you're not going to get people book into your calendars or come into your landing pages and come into your order forms. So it's super important that you up-level your strategy. You look at, okay, what's something else I can do that is going to, if you think of the 80-20 rule, you might be spending 80% of your time but getting 20% of the results. What are those things that you're spending 20% of your time on but getting 80% of, of the results and how can you really double down on those things? So you might need to tweak your strategy, you might need a whole new strategy. From, for a lot of my clients, their strategy wasn't working, they weren't getting new clients and so they actually had to change strategies. Uh, and I teach a, a range of different lead generation strategies but one of them is what I call LOPA, I learned this from my friend Mark, where he talks about leveraging other people's audiences, L-O-P-A, leveraging other people's audiences. So for example, you'd be a guest on someone's webinar or in their Facebook group, or you might get interviewed on their podcast. And so if you don't have a big list, if you don't have a lot of followers, or if you're just starting out, for example, you can you can um, use other people's audiences to massively grow your, your following. So the strategy is the first thing to look at. The second thing to look at is to up-level your skills. And this is probably the biggest one where let's say you're posting or sending emails, writing blogs, doing videos, but how good are you at actually helping someone, inspiring someone to make a decision to take action? Because it's one thing to share content, just to share uh, like how-to content, share a few tips, but you just become like another Google. So how good are you at actually getting people to make decisions? And it's all with how you craft your language. So how well are you crafting your language? How good are you at, at the skill of copywriting? You might be good at writing great posts, but people come into your strategy sessions, your discovery calls, and you find it really hard to convert them. So your influence skills aren't great. So pretty much any time that your business isn't growing, you've got to relook at these skills and look at how good are you at copywriting, at marketing, at sales, at presenting, at technology, automation. All of those things are skills that need to be up-leveled in order for you to up-level your income. And they all can be learned. Like that's what I love about skills. The skills are learnable and anyone can learn them, which is super cool. Um, hi, Sina. Sina helps people to celebrate their special occasions. I love that, that you've just nailed that into like one super simple, clear statement. That's awesome. I'd love to know a little bit more about how you actually do that. It's so cool. So once you've up-leveled your strategies and your skills, you want to have a look at your systems. 
so let's say you're sending manual emails you you might want to do that change from manual emails to automated emails or you might change from using like some kind of beginner website like Wix or Squarespace for example you might want to upgrade it to WordPress you might want to go from just posting out um, for example you, you might be chasing people up via email or sending e invoices manually and you actually want to go from manual clunky old school to actually automating that whole process so that you can remove yourself more from those things and actually focus on what you're really good at. Successful business owners, they spend their time in their genius zone. Like you have unique brilliance that you're really good at and the more time you spend in that genius zone, the more money you're going to make. So we can outsource things that we're doing that other people can be doing. So I've got three assistants and they do things for me that are tasks that um, that anyone can do. So you always want to be thinking, can someone else be doing this for less than my hourly rate? That's how I make um, those decisions. And so if you follow that chow model where you're going create, you're improving, then you're automating and you're outsourcing, you can think, okay, what are the systems that I can put in place to free up my time so that I can multiply my income? So I can create something that's going to massively increase my income. For example, creating a high ticket funnel. Like a lot of entrepreneurs spend their time posting so much content that just leads nowhere. And they don't have like a systemized funnel in their business. And a lot of that can be done automated in an automated way. Because you you need to not only capture leads through a, a landing page, nurture those relationships, but also know how to language it to guide people to the next steps. And at the same time, do it in a way that's really elegant and not salesy. So that's the systems part of it. The fourth thing is to up-level your support. There's nothing more valuable in business than having support. Having a supportive communica um, community around you to hold you to a higher standard and get that clarity, get that direction and that feedback and that accountability. It is the number one thing that's helped me grow my business. Without having support, having guidance from people who have achieved what you want to achieve, there's no way, there's no way that I would have been able to build um, a six-figure income. So when we don't immerse ourselves in those environments of growth, our businesses just stay stuck, they stay small. We all need expert eyes on our business. I was just saying to my group, um, I never launch anything without having someone look over it because it's those tiny tweaks, those up-leveling tweaks that other people like my coaches and my mentors, my community uh, help me with. That's what accelerates your results. We cannot reach our potential in business without support. I love the quote that Eric Schmidt, um, the Google CEO, he says, one thing that people are never good at is seeing themselves as other people see them. And so no matter how good you are at crafting, no matter how good your skills are, people see things in a different way. People have a perspective that you can't see. You can't see the picture when you're inside the frame. So support gives you that perspective, perspective <laughs> which gives you that acceleration. So successful business owners multiply their income by up-leveling these things, their strategies, their skills, their systems, and their support. So if you're ready to up-level, if you want to attract more people who want to invest in your services, if you want to get answers to the, the questions, your business questions where you're stuck on, if you want to get the finances, the fulfillment, the freedom, then what I recommend is looking at these areas to up-level. And if you are in Sydney and you're in business, I'm super excited to share an event that I'm running with two other speakers and it's called Level Up. <laughs> this event is for you if you want to build a pipeline, like I talked about that pipeline of consistent ideal clients and scale your business up to 10K months consistently. It's really designed to take you out of a plateau where your business is quite capped and small and stuck and really up level you into that sought after trusted leader or expert in your industry. It's not about spending more time, um, doubling your hours, hustling. It's not about 
doubling your followers or anything like that. You don't have to be the most experienced, be the best salesperson or marketer. It's it's your ability to follow a, a step by step process and craft your language in a way that resonates with the right people and have the right systems to do that. When you've got the right systems, it's like you can just breathe because the systems are doing the work for you as opposed to you trying to do it all yourself and just getting overwhelmed and burned out. So if you want that clarity, you want that direction on the exact steps to take in your business and if you are ready to scale up your business, and also if you like connecting with entrepreneurs, like other like-minded people, I got together with my mastermind, which is Jez Perez and Mark Flores. And um, we just got together and said, how can we run something that's so cool and so fun and is such a no-brainer for people to come? And what we decided to do was create an event that's just pure value all day. I don't know about you, but I get a little bit burned out with all the Zoom events. Does anyone else get sick of being on their laptop? Just give me a yes in the comment if you're a bit tired of just being on your computer all, all the time. And there's, I mean, Zoom, I'm so grateful for Zoom. I'm so grateful for Facebook Live and all the technology that comes online. Most of my business is online. But um, I think there's a point where we just want to get off the laptop and get on, get out and about with warm bodies with energy in the room there's nothing like it right hey yeah mark mark is on here so if you want to be around other entrepreneurs you're sick of your laptop and you want to get out and about and you're in sydney come and join us it's called level up it's a one-day event we're not selling anything it's it's just pure value because we want to help entrepreneurs out we know that business is too hard to do alone and it's really hard to up level on your own so I'm going to just pop the, um, the details in the, uh, in the comments now and you can check it out. Next week I'm going to be talking about the five areas um, to focus on if you want to consistently get, hit those 10k months every single month. So that's what I'm speaking about next Wednesday at 8 p.m. if any of you aren't in Sydney and you can't make it. But if you can join us, we'd absolutely love to see you there. So just click on the link to check it out. Thanks for being here. Love you guys heaps. Please pop a hashtag replay if you're watching this as a replay. And if you're watching it live, just give me a hello. I want to know who's here. Uh, I can't see who's on here. So just write something in the comments. That's your way of giving back. I've just given you solid gold for 20 minutes. So please do me a favor and just give me a like, a love, a hug. The that care emoji, <laughs> whatever you like, drop me a comment. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.